Hey, Red Raider fans, we are back. Robert Giovanetti along with Logan West, who is the project manager for Guide On. We are outside the beautiful south end zone of Jones AT&T Stadium. Logan, people have been watching it go up since day one. Just tell us about where we are right now from the outside. We're gonna take you inside really quickly, but uh, just give us an update here on the outside. All right, well, hopefully uh, everyone's seen the tremendous progress that's been made here. We're tightening up all the brick and cast stone along the concourse and really all along the south end zone in its entirety. Uh, we now have ribbon boards up above uh, the arcade here of the concourse. Uh, the video boards have also been completed. Um, and then we're moving along very well on the interior, uh, drying in the building. So, a lot right. of progress. We know you've asked it. It's not going to be done by football season, right? Logan guarantees it is going to be done, and we're going to show you why. We're going to take you into the ground level today. Next week, we'll go up top, show you the coaches' offices and the suites. But right now, Logan's going to take us and show us what's going on here on the ground. Okay, we are inside now the field level club area. It's a cool spot. You can see over behind Logan's shoulder, that's where the team will take the field. But Logan, so much has been done since last time we've been in there. Let's start here at that back wall. Uh, tell us what's going on back there. Yes, yeah, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of, actually all the tile is complete now along the entire field level. Uh, millwork has been installed. All the floors, you see the protection down here. The floors are actually polished and stained and completed. Um, all the, the painting uh, was basically on last coat of paint, all the lights are burning and everything. Uh, we also have air blowing down here at the field club. We see here, we've got a bar that's near completion. On the other side will be the recruit area. They'll leave obviously before the game starts and then that'll become the letter winners area where they can congregate on game day. And then again, you've got the tabletops here where you can look right out the window and, and watch the game from the, from the field level. Yes, sir, it's an amazing viewpoint, you know, here from the South End Field Club because uh, these drink rails that you see here give you a great view, but also you can walk out onto that kind of a, a mezzanine level there or area and uh, watch the game from the field. Um, and of course, as you mentioned, Gio, the players may be running directly through the club pre-game uh, through this massive operable glass door system. So quite an experience. We also have some great new things happening with lighting and fireworks. You're not going to miss it, want to miss it on the first game. Let's go take back a look at what's going on in the locker area. Okay, we're here in the main entrance. Uh, from the from the Sixth Street entrance, right? There'll be el there's elevators that have been installed right here through those doors. Kind of where our camera guys are standing will be where the saddle is, which will take the team out on the field. And let's walk back down here towards the locker area and just tell us what's going on as we go through here. Okay, so this is the primary kind of game day tunnel. The team will come through here. This is a really heavily branded space. Um, on two sides of this corridor, we have cameras, and so that'll project out onto the video boards uh, that we have both on the south end zone and also the uh, north end zone. Um, so there'll be a lot of light, sound, and action coming through this corridor. Now here we're entering into the game day locker room. Uh, we have 85 game day lockers. Uh, this installation actually began last Thursday. And so you can see they've already been fitted in and um, working on trim out right now. Yeah, see the lockers, you already got Tex Tech football. A lot of people are gonna like the flat double T there on the seat and it looks really, it's amazing the change that's in here since last time we've been in this. Oh room. gosh, absolutely. Yeah, we're moving very fast. Uh, the entire field club itself is going to be ready in July. So um, pushing the schedule and it's, uh, we're making great progress. Here we are on the other side of the locker room, which we've got to note, Logan, this is just game day locker room. We'll still have another locker room for the guys absolutely. over on the football training. That's outside. correct, game day only. And so we'll have 122 practice lockers, the everyday locker over at the Womble Football Center. So behind us, you see obviously the shower area and everything else. Let's go down this hallway because this is kind of cool as well. Tell us what's through these doors. So this is where the team would come in through uh, during halftime. We have coaches conference rooms over here. Uh, be a nourishment over here, nourishment station over here, um, refrigerator, refreshments and all that kind of thing. So yeah. but this is where they'll break out into the positions halftime. You know, have players going through there with coach and so forth. So I'm kind of turned around because where we are underneath, mm -hmm. but do those doors lead out to what is the, the tunnel, the traditional old visitor's tunnel? Is that what's out those that's, doors there? That's correct. These doors lead out here to the east ramp. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, this takes you right out into the field. Okay, we're back in the club area. We've always taken you to the east side, which is the locker rooms and everything else. I don't think we've ever taken you to the west side. It shows you how massive this building is. So let's go down here down the hallway, Logan, we could talk a little bit about what's going on. First of all, for a lot of our people that work here, we've got a massive amount of storage, right? Oh, yes. There's right. everywhere you look, there's storage. And, and a lot of future build-out space as well. So we do have shelf spaces down here that are really going to facilitate 
future growth for tech athletics. And I think for an area that for our people that is very important is obviously post game and press conferences, the Coach McGuire's Monday press conference. We have a room set up down here that we will use for that. And uh, I think this big, again, this hallway is so large and this building is so large. I get, is this it here? This is the one. This is it, yes. So here's the media room and this will have an LED wall on the back, right? So we can change that up with different logos, different looks behind there. Coach McGuire will sit up there and media will be kind of where I'm standing right now. Yes, sir, that's correct. Yeah, we just entered through the press side of the room. Um, here's where coach and staff would walk through and we have this very nice Dactronics LED board that's gonna remain flexible and everything, so. So we'll utilize this on post game. We'll utilize this um, on Mondays for his Monday press conference and other press conferences throughout the season. So this is gonna be a really great utilized space. Absolutely. And we'll go around the corner. I don't know if we can go out this door here or not. We can. As you mentioned, this is where Coach McGuire will come in and out. That's correct. And then down this corridor, this actually comes from the field, so this is the path that he would be taking. So another field, this is from the, the fields right up there. Uh, this would be a media workroom for all the photographers and others that work the game. They can work here. We'll have space for spirit. We'll have space for officials will have space i believe even for the opposing team right opposing That's team correct. spirit visiting chair will be here yeah uh, we also have a chain crew as well yeah the chain crew as well so all that and you can kind of tell there it leads back out to the field and then you're back out ready to play football this is a massive building um, and we haven't even taken you up to the main level or the upper level so we're going to do that in the next couple of weeks but clearly lots going on Guys working, what, what's the work schedule like right now? Seven days a week, um, pushing 450 workers on site and everything just here out in the field. So a lot of effort being put forth. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, we'll be occupying the, the field club level in July. In July. Yes, sir. And when will the coaches move into their office? In July as well. So they come back from uh, staff vacations at the end of the July. So there'll be a turnover so. in July. And again, August 31st, the first kick. If you don't have your tickets, what are you waiting on? It's going to be a show here, right? The first game, the first day we debut this stadium and everything that goes with it, it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. I think it's just going to be an absolutely great start to the season, you know. Yeah, we're excited. Thanks again to Logan from Guidon. Thanks to all of you for watching, especially our construction cam regulars. We know you're out there. We're hearing you. We're listening to you. We're, we're uh, glad you're out there watching. Uh, but until the next time, we'll be back next week and we'll take you upstairs. Again, for Logan, I'm Gio. Wreck'em. Wreck'em.